Hey, what's up guys? Rob here with Ford Steel Adventures. Insta360 released a really cool feature uh, with some of their cameras and I wanted to highlight it and show you a quick little tutorial of how to use it. But basically you can connect your Garmin Connect information from your watch and or your Apple Watch and then overlay it over the top of your video. This obviously works for snowboarding, skiing, running, cycling, probably swimming, all the fun things. If you enjoy this and it's helpful, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for dropping by. So you're going to want to start by opening the Insta360 app. And then from there, I'm in the album tab right now where you have your videos from your camera. You're going to want to download the clip that you want to overlay your Garmin Connect data to or your Apple Watch data to. And you do that by clicking the checkbox in the upper right hand corner. And then from there, you'll select the clip. And this one is already downloaded, so I don't have the download feature in the bottom, but it would be right next to the trash can. Once you download it, then you're going to want to open the app, open the video that you're looking at. And from here, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select stats. And once you've got the stats on the top part here, my Garmin Connect has already been connected to my Insta360 app, but you will see something up here that says nothing to connect. So you'd click on it, and as an example, I don't have my Garmin Connect mainland China connected, I don't have Apple Health connected, um, or video data. So you would select your Garmin Connect here, or your Apple Health, and then it's gonna bring you to Apple's portal or Garmin's portal to connect it. And then from there, on your clip, once it's connected, you're gonna see this. So right in the beginning here, when I'm not moving, I don't have any stats, but as I start to move, it starts to pick up, which is really cool. You've got a couple different options here. You've got the classic overlay. You can do the racing overlay, which looks pretty sweet. Or you can also do the futuristic overlay. Overall, it's pretty cool. When you go back to racing here, as an example, I can change between miles per hour and kilometers. And then I've got a couple different options down here. Accelerations, not checked right now. Pace is not checked, um, but that's about it. So I'll export a quick little clip, um, probably using this racing feature just to give you an example of what it looks like, but hopefully this helped you guys out. 